In this video, we're going to run through how you can connect to the Fritzbox interface. To access the Fritzbox interface, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure that your device, whether that's a mobile phone, tablet, laptop or a computer, is connected to the Fritzbox router. Now this can be done either via wire or Wi-Fi, but as preference we would always recommend a wired connection. And that's purely because any settings that you change within your router could cause your Wi-Fi connection to temporarily disconnect, whereas with a wired connection that will maintain after those settings have been applied. There are other benefits to using wires over Wi-Fi, which I go through in a lot more detail in this video here. Once you're happy that your device is connected to the router, we now need to connect to the interface. Now to do this, you open up a web browser of choice and go to 192.168.178.1 and then click search. Once you have done this, you'll be greeted with this screen and this is the login interface for the Fritzbox router. You simply need to put in the password that you'll find on the underside of your router and log in. And now you'll be greeted with the interface screen and here you can change your settings, personalize your Wi-Fi name or do any sort of diagnostic checks that you need to do. If that address hasn't worked, there are two others that you can try. The second is fritz.box and the third is 169.254.1.1. Give each of those addresses a try in your browser. If you find it's not working in your browser, try an alternative browser, but make sure that your device is connected to the Fritzbox, as we have found that some mobile phones and other devices that will drop to a 4G backup, for example, will be connected to that rather than to the Fritzbox router itself. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.